a chance to uh, study community and public health. So what are these opportunities that the scholarships open up to you, in addition to being the first African woman to become an assistant lecturer at the University of Nairobi? It was all preparatory stages. Um, after I, I qualified with my diploma in education, teaching home science subjects, I was posted to Boteri Girls High School and I went to continue to teach biology and home sciences. While there, I did a lot of village visits. I was very inquisitive. I was curious about what was happening. I had also, through my own ex exploration with the Ministry of Health, I learned that there was a lot of protein calorie malnutrition. At that time, it's called kwashako. We don't hear much about it these days, mm -hmm. but it was rampant in East Africa. So, with my home science knowledge, skills, I picked on that as an entry point. Little did I know it was an entry point. I thought it was an interest. And it was an interest, that, uh, an interest that I had skills in. So I went to help to prepare food for children with the kwasha at hospitals. For me, again, as a, a God would have it, I got married. And I got married to a physician who was working at Mlago Hospital at Makera at, uh, uh, University at the same time. So we moved to Kampala. And then I joined the team of pediatricians who are taking care of hundreds of those malnourished children. And my skills just opened up.